Welcome to video number 16 on reinforced concrete design based on Eurocode 2. We will be looking at moment redistribution, textbook use, topic is moment redistribution. Let's start from the basic. The plastic behavior of reinforced concrete at the ultimate limit state affects the distribution of moment in the structure. What does that mean? When the concrete is at plastic state, state, meaning the stress is constant regardless of the change in strain, we will find the structure itself capable of re uh, distributing moment along its length. To allow for this, the moment derived from elastic analysis may be, may be redistributed based on the assumption that plastic hinges have formed at the sections with the largest moments. Simply means sections with big moments spread out their moments to the adjacent sections. The formation of plastic hinges requires relatively large rotations with yielding of tension reinforcements. This can be good news because at yield reinforcements full stress can be utilized. To ensure last strains in the tension steel, the code of practice which is Eurocode 2 restricts the depth of neutral axis according to the magnitude of the moment redistribution carried out like x equals to 0.45 d. The equation given by Eurocode 2 for a concrete weaker than C50 slash 60 is this. Rearranging, we get this, where delta is a ratio of moment after be to before redistribution, and this ratio cannot exceed 1. While k1 and k2 are coefficients in Eurocode 2, and x balance is the depth of the neutral axis. Let us develop this further. Given the depth of stress block for balance section and its relationship there and its relation with the level arm, the moment of resistance of the concrete in compression is this. Expand it and we'll get taking the formula of K for balance section and expand it, we get this. Combine with equation from the previous page and this, we get the formula of K balance under the condition, under the condition of moment redistribution. Rearrange, we get After remember, we put we insert the value of k one and k two based on the given code. This is the whole table for of the limits we use. But now, by now adjusted according to the percentage redistribution. At zero redistribution, we get the same values as we we see the same values of these limits before. These are the same limits that we use to evaluate whether we need compression reinforcements, tension still has yielded to its ultimate stage, or compression whether compression still has yielded to its ultimate stage. This means if the value of K exceeds K balance, we need compression reinforcement. The amount of compression reinforcement needed is this, the same formula. After this, we find the amount of tension reinforcement with this. The same formula where K equals to M over BD squared FCK. The ratio, if the ratio of D prime to D exceeds the limit shown in the previous table, it means the compression still has not yielded. Its strength will be lesser than the prescribed 0 0.87 FYK. 
we will have to calculate the compressive stress using this formula. Stress equals to modulus times strain. The strain will then be calculate, calculated from the stress strain diagram. After this correction, the amount of compression still required is this. The rate, the letter in red is the one that replaces the original 0 0.87 FYK. The amount of tension re reinforcement is this. The rate are the correction factor to the compression reinforcement. For section requiring compression steel, the level arm can be calculated from this. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.